I need you guys to understand this. Everybody who comes into your life, right? And I don't want you to overthink this. I don't want you to start making people bad people that aren't bad. You know, you just overlooking everything because nobody's perfect. Let's get that. All right. But everybody who comes into your life doesn't want the best for your life, period. Especially when they know they can take advantage of you, especially when they see your areas of insecurity. Like one way that you know somebody is trying to take advantage of you is they're always trying to secure your insecurities because they want to gain your trust. Understand that the first thing a person wants to do is gain your trust because they know if they gain your trust, they will have access to your life. And when they have access to your life, that's when they can take advantage of your life. Okay. So if it's not reciprocated, like it's pretty simple. If you're always doing for somebody else, like I'm not telling you to always expect something in return. Like I'm not telling you to do something expecting in return, but if somebody truly cares about you, they're going to be doing for you also, right? If somebody truly loved you, right? It's not going to be a one-way street. Relationships that are one-way streets will come to a dead end eventually, or they should come to a dead end. A relationship, a friendship, any ship that's sailing, going, it should be a two-way street. And so you have to be aware of that. Like if somebody consider if somebody's supposed to be your friend, but they never support you at all, and you always support them, that is not your friend. Period. If someone can't be happy for you when you're happy, like if somebody can't applaud you, you know, an accomplishment, you graduated, you did something big, you know, you made something happen with your life. If they can't say good job, congratulations, and be genuinely happy for you, that person is not your friend. I want to be clear. And what you have to do is set up boundaries. Like if you continue to be used, guess what's going to happen? You're going to be empty at the end of the day. If you keep giving, 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 and they keep taking from your life, taking from your life, taking from your life, guess what? You are not going to be fulfilled at all. And I, as, like I said in that video, get around people who pour into your cup, not just want to drink from it. Like seriously. And you know, I've I seen a lot of people talk about what I said at the end about cutting people off. Let me let me, let me me straighten this out. When I tell you to cut people off, it doesn't mean that you don't talk to them ever again. It doesn't mean that you don't love them. None of that. But you realize that you can't have certain people in your life like that. Just being real. Like if you want to have a peaceful life, but you're trying to keep somebody in your life that brings nothing but drama to your life, you're not going to have a peaceful life. If you're trying to heal your life, but you're around somebody who brings nothing but pain, guess what? You're not going to heal your life. It's just facts. And so it doesn't mean that that person's a bad person. It doesn't mean that you don't talk to them anymore. You just limit your connection with that person. And like I said in the video, man, don't feel guilty when somebody handed you the scissors. And people will try to make you feel guilty. People will try to turn the tables on you and try to make you feel like you the bad person when they treated you bad. Try to make you feel like you wrong when they did you wrong. And what we do is we sit there and we feel guilty and we give people another chance. Let me tell you something about second, third, fourth, fifth chances. You're not obligated to give anybody another chance. Do I believe in second chances? Yes, I do. But I don't believe in third and fourths. I don't believe fifth and sixth. No, I don't. Do I believe in forgiveness? You bet I do. Forgiveness is mandatory because, because forgiveness is not just for me. I mean, forgiveness is not just for that person. It's really not for that person at all. It's for myself. And so you got to protect your life. You got to guard your heart. You have to set the standard and tone for your life and stop allowing people to use you like straight up. I feel like that's what I'm doing with the exception of one person. Yeah, whatever, whoever it is, whatever it is in your life, man, like set some boundaries and set the tone and let people know what it's not going to be. And I've done it plenty of times. With people, and I don't feel bad for it because I prioritize my peace. I know I'm a good person. I know I'm a great person, but I'm not going to be. Sur I'm not going to surround myself in an environment. I'm not going to surround myself around people that do nothing but drain me. Life is too short for that. Life is too short to live miserable. Life is too short just to be used in the wrong way. Use your life, of course, to bring more goodness to this world, right? Like let let's let's be clear with that. But stop allowing people to take advantage of you. Over and over and over again. Like, you know, when somebody does something to you three times, four times, that's not a choice. I mean, it's not a mistake. That's a choice. Someone's choosing to treat you that way. And you're choosing to accept it. Like, you ain't got to accept that. 
And I get it. Oh, well, you know, it's, it's going to be hard to be alone. It's going to be hard to walk away. I'm tired. I understand that. But you know what's harder? It's staying in pain. You know what's harder? Staying in depression. You know what's harder? You know, not knowing your worth. That's what's harder. That's what's harder. So choose your heart. Let's get it.